Beyonce has explained that both albums are a part of a trilogy. Here are ways Cowboy Carter alludes to Queen Bey's Grammy-winning Renaissance album. If you thought surprise drops in visual albums were the peak of Beyonce's powers, think again. With 2022's Renaissance and her buzzy new Cowboy Carter album, Queen Bey is meticulously rolling out a sprawling trilogy of releases that is sure to leave an indelible mark on popular music. Long before Texas Hold'em made history across several Billboard charts, Beyoncé commenced her trilogy with the release of the Grammy-winning Break My Soul. That thumping house anthem served as the lead single for Renaissance, which Beyoncé detailed as the first in a three-act project she recorded during the COVID-19 pandemic. This three-act project was recorded over three years during the pandemic, she wrote in a message on her official website. A time to be still, but also a time I found to be the most creative. Creating allowed me a place to dream and to find escape during a scary time for the world. It allowed me to feel free and adventurous in a time when little else was moving. A kaleidoscopic melange of country, R&B, opera, 70s rock, hip-hop, Americana, house, blues, gospel, and more, Cowboy Carter has a few entry points that seamlessly segue into the Renaissance world. In fact, the end of Cowboy Carter, Closer Amen, transitions seamlessly into Renaissance opener, I'm That Girl. The shimmering synth at the end of Amen feels like a spaceship transporting us to a world of alien superstars. The connections don't stop there. There are several lyrical Easter eggs baked into both albums, further solidifying the relationship between the two albums. In a press release shared shortly after the album's release, Beyoncé revealed that she was initially going to put Cowboy Carter out first, but with the pandemic, there was too much heaviness in the world. We wanted to dance, we deserved to dance, but I had to trust God's timing. Needless to say, Beyoncé's grand vision is coming together right in front of our eyes. Experience Beyoncé's poignant reflections on America in Cowboy Carter. Dive deep into the soul-stirring narrative woven within Beyoncé's Cowboy Carter album, where every track tells a story of resilience, reflection, and redemption. In the album's poignant closer, Amen, Beyoncé masterfully intertwines the haunting melodies of American Requiem with her own introspective verses, offering a solemn prayer for a nation grappling with its past. With lyrics like, Say a prayer for what has been, we'll be the ones to purify our father's sins, she navigates the complex terrain of American history, urging listeners to confront the ghosts of the past while seeking redemption for the future. As the somber tones of Amen fade, Beyoncé seamlessly transitions into the uplifting anthem, I'm That Girl, marking a symbolic rebirth, a renaissance. Here she sheds the weight of her un-American life, embracing a newfound sense of purpose and empowerment. With each verse, Beyoncé invites us to join her on a journey of self-discovery and transformation, reminding us that from the ashes of despair rises the phoenix of hope. In Cowboy Carter, Beyoncé doesn't just deliver music, she crafts a cinematic experience that resonates with the soul. Prepare to be moved, inspired, and forever changed by the raw emotion and undeniable artistry of one of music's greatest storytellers. Embark on Beyoncé's musical journey, from American Requiem to My House. Join Beyoncé on a transcendent voyage through her musical evolution, from the haunting melodies of American Requiem to the electrifying beats of My House. As the curtains rise on her groundbreaking documentary concert film, Renaissance, a film by Beyoncé, the stage is set for an unparalleled exploration of artistry, identity, and empowerment. In the aftermath of her record-breaking Renaissance world tour, Beyoncé gifts the world with My House, a pulsating anthem that pays homage to her roots while asserting her dominance in the industry. With lyrics like, I grew up in this, I blew up in this house, I'm too up in this house, she asserts her rightful place at the pinnacle of musical excellence, daring anyone to challenge her throne. Yet, amidst the triumph of My House, echoes of American Requiem linger a haunting reminder of the struggles and sacrifices that paved the way for Beyoncé's success. In this melancholic ode to lost dreams and unfulfilled promises, Beyoncé bids farewell to the pretty house that we never settled in, symbolizing the rejection and adversity she faced on her journey to the top. But Beyoncé is not one to dwell on the past. With unwavering determination and unyielding resilience, 
she picks up her tools and forges her own path, crafting a new house, one built on authenticity, passion, and unapologetic self-expression. As you immerse yourself in Beyonce's musical odyssey, let the echoes of American Requiem and the pulsating beats of My House guide you through a transformative experience unlike any other. Welcome to Beyonce's world, where music transcends boundaries and dreams take flight. Unlocking the layers, Beyonce's musical tapestry from spaghetti to pure honey. Delve deep into the intricate web of Beyonce's musical genius as she masterfully weaves together the threads of spaghetti and pure honey. In the sassy anthem Spaghetti, Beyonce serves up a delicious blend of wit and attitude, punctuated by the unforgettable refrain, cunty, country, petty, petty, petty. Here, she playfully nods to her own musical repertoire, hinting at the infectious energy of pure honey. In Pure Honey, Beyonce invites listeners into a world of unapologetic empowerment, channeling the spirit of Kevin Aviance's iconic track Cunty with her own electrifying twist. With lyrics like, get your money, money cunty, hunty, don't be funny with my money, honey, she asserts her dominance with confidence and flair, daring anyone to question her authority. But beyond the surface-level sass and swagger lies a deeper message, a celebration of self-worth and financial independence. Beyonce's words resonate as a rallying cry for women everywhere to demand what they deserve and never settle for less. As you journey through the dynamic soundscape of Beyonce's music, let the synergy between spaghetti and pure honey ignite your spirit and embolden your resolve. In Beyonce's world, empowerment isn't just a concept, it's a way of life. So grab hold of your dreams, unleash your inner fierceness, and let Beyonce's music inspire you to embrace your truest self. Dive into Beyonce's sultry reverie, from Levy's jeans to church girl. Embark on a tantalizing journey through the seductive beats of Beyonce's Levy's jeans and the soul-stirring melodies of Church Girl. In the collaboration with Post Malone, Beyonce sets the stage for an intoxicating night of passion and desire, crooning, need you all night long, you're my renaissance. With a nod to her acclaimed renaissance album, Beyonce captures the essence of sweaty, lustful rapture on the dance floor, inviting listeners to lose themselves in the euphoria of the moment. As the rhythm pulses and the heat rises, Beyonce's vocals soar in Church Girl, where she explores the dichotomy of pleasure and piety. With lyrics like, you know you got church in the morning, but you doing God's work, you going in, she paints a vivid portrait of a woman torn between her earthly desires and her spiritual obligations. Yet, in the throes of passion, Beyonce finds liberation and transcendence, embracing the ecstasy of the present moment. In this electrifying juxtaposition of Levy's jeans and church girl, Beyonce and Post Malone blur the lines between heaven and earth, pleasure and devotion. Together, they answer Luther Vandross' timeless question, heaven can indeed wait when the allure of the here and now is too irresistible to resist. So let go of inhibitions, surrender to the music, and immerse yourself in the divine experience of Beyonce's sonic symphony.